The, the demo of the application is composed of several steps. First of all, we will train the model in the Microsoft supercomputer using PyComs and the sleep. Then the model will be saved to a binary file uh, to be packaged in a container, then uploaded to, to Oscar. Then we will see in Oscar how we will trigger the inference a process also with comps, uh, uploading a random file in the Minio uh, storage. Uh, so this file represents fresh data coming from the patient uh, device. And through this upload, Oscar will instantiate the, the inference process. So um, let's start with the first part. Uh, so we are in the Marinostrum supercomputer. We, um, uh, we run the, the train, first we run the, the script to in queue the, the job in the, in the Marinostrum queue. This, um, uh, this application developed with PyComs, it uh, uses then the, the Sleep uh, library, instantiated Cascades SVM uh, uh, algorithm to, to train the, the, the model uh, using the training set, and uh, the model will be uh, trained and saved to, um, to a binary file, as I said. Also, we'll have the, uh, the score uh, of, the, of the trained uh, model calculated at the, at the end. Um, we will see that so the job is already enqueued. We can check it that is running. So here that comes runtime is, is starting and will be ready to um, a few seconds to, to process uh, the data. This process will last um, around uh, eight minutes, so in line with the constraints that I showed uh, before in the in the slide where we had the time constraint that can be used by the user. Uh, so in the meantime, we can have a look at previously executed uh, model, and we will see here that the model ended in uh, almost uh, 400 uh, seconds, producing uh, also a score of 0 0.78. We have to remember that the final uh, score is the average of that we calculated is the average of several training, of course. So once this process finish we have the model saved in a, a binary file so we package this uh, model together with the application in a container that has been uploaded to um, uh, to the oscar uh, cluster so we can see here uh, that we have the services ready to, to be used we have the, the this csvm uh, container and as i said we have to upload in the proper storage uh, an input file. So in this case, is one of the files of the dataset that we will use randomly as a, a as, as new data to be to be trained. Um, of course, we have to put in the proper in the in part of the storage. So once these uh, files are uploaded, we will see that the process will be automatically triggered by. Uh, Uh, by Oscar. So here we can see in the logs that the file is, uh, is uploaded, the, the input file is downloaded from the bucket and that the uh, this leap inference process is also started. We can have a look in the meantime the result of a previous uh, run where we could see that the output of this prediction is, uh, is a binary uh, uh, output saying that uh, the classification returns 0, 1 depending on the if it's a natural fibrillation or, or not. So this is the output that will uh, be read by the, the, the user. Uh, you can see that probably this is, in, is going on. So the model is loaded and is, uh, is running to, to process the, the result. Um, of course, in this case, we don't have any output, just a a print in uh, a classification report that contains the, the value 0 or 1.